All right, guys, I am going to show you a way of planting trees that was done in the late 1800s uh, by a lady called Ellen White. Um, it's also known as the blueprint uh, planting method. Um, there is a video on YouTube uh, on it. It's, it's from some D DVD somebody did. Um, it's about 50 minutes to an hour long, something like that. That basically consists of di digging a three foot by three foot by three feet deep hole for a large cavity for your tree. Uh, and then that soil you've, you've taken out, you want to amend it with uh, things like manure, uh, topsoil, um, uh, humus, compost, peat moss. Now you don't have to have all these ingredients or all these uh, amendments, uh, but at least the manures get that. Um, rocks, any kind of rocks will do, uh, and your tree of course. All right, so I'm going to show you step by step and how this works. Now when I first heard about this method, I was very skeptical. I'm like, I don't know about this. A friend of mine uh, did it, uh, I guess it's been a couple of years now, but he did it and then I went and seen his fruit trees about a year later and I could not believe the growth and the amount of fruit he had on these trees. But when you buy trees, you know, they're usually around this tall. These trees, this fig tree I was looking at was just huge and it was full of figs. And I'm thinking, he planted these a year or so ago? Uh, okay. There's uh, this 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 really works, um, and also when you watch that video I told you about, I'll put a link in my uh, in the description on it. Uh, the video starts off where the guy shows a, a pine tree, a sequoia pine I think it is. Um, this thing must be like ten foot ten foot tall, where he did uh, he planted that like four years earlier, and he compared it to other trees that he planted four years earlier, and they were like this tall. Okay. So this method really works. Uh, I don't know the science behind it. It just works, okay? So that's good enough for me because I want to enjoy fruits and vegetables, or fruits anyways, on these trees, not five years from now, but in at least a year or two, all right? So let me show you how this works, all right? All right, first of all, you need to dig your hole. Now I have hard clay here, as I mentioned many times in my videos, so I cheated and I used a backhoe on my uh, tractor. We did one hole, my wife and I, believe it or not, helped me out. Um, we dug this hole and we were basically chipping away at the soil, the, the clay is so hard here. Um, so she's like, forget this, let's go get this, let's, let's go get this backhoe. So I ended up buying a cheap backhoe and it works great. It really works great for this. Uh, but uh, obviously you don't have to use a backhoe. Um, but that's the most uh, labor intensive part of this is digging the hole and mixing the soil up. All right, so let me show you what I'm gonna do next. All right guys, the next thing we have to do, we wanna create an air pocket at the bottom of the hole. All right, so you can do this a couple different ways. You can get yourself a pot, a sturdy pot like this, and put it upside down. This isn't a sturdy pot. Get yourself a sturdy pot like uh, either either a uh, terracotta one or a good sturdy plastic one. These are this is a little too soft. But anyways, you put this upside down at the bottom of the hole. You can get a four-inch piece of PVC pipe. Uh, I don't know, maybe two feet long or so. So as long as it fits in the, the bottom of the hole, and put two rocks at the end so it doesn't fill in with dirt. Uh, or what I did here is I got some um, uh, conduit, corrugated conduit, or I'm sorry, corrugated, well, it's corrugated plastic anyways. Um, this is for drainage. Now, you can buy these at the big box stores. I don't know if you can notice it here, but it's got these little teeny holes, slits all inside, all the way around this pipe, corrugated pipe here. Uh, so what I basically did is I joined the two ends together like this. And then I put a piece of uh, aluminum tape, okay, or duct tape, whatever you have, that'll work. And then once that's uh, in, drop it at the bottom of the hole. Then we're going to uh, fill it in with the, the amended dirt, and that will hold this all together. So what we're going to do now is get this, drop it at the bottom of the hole. And again, all we're doing is creating a pocket of air at the bottom of the hole. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mix roughly equal parts of the soil that I took out of the hole with the manure, 
uh, some of the uh, composted uh, humus and uh, peat moss uh, and even the uh, organic compost. Um, what you're all you're doing now, this it doesn't you don't have to have all these ingredients, but the the manure is for sure if you if you have them. Also, leaf mold. I almost forgot that. I don't have any leaf mold here. Um, you would get that from uh, if you have a, a a big pile of leaves composting. Uh, dig down in there and take the stuff that's you know down underneath. Uh, it's composting really nice. Use some of that. Uh, but you would use that along with these other ones, uh, other things I mentioned here in this mixture to put into the uh, first third of the hole, okay? So, uh, let's start doing that. Now this is a uh, horse manure over here. Actually, I'll add a little bit of this uh, peat moss. Now again, you don't have to be precise with everything. What you're doing is enriching the soil that you took out of the hole. Okay? But try and do 50-50. If you only have manure, uh, just do a 50-50 mix of the soil, the soil you took out of the ground and the manure. It makes it really good. Okay? Here I'm just doing a little bit of, of what I have. Now you know that peat moss is very dry and it'll help hold moisture. It's also very dusty so be careful with the dust. Uh, I'm going to add about half of this compost in there. Yeah, it looks like it already ripped. That's good. Put a half a bag of this compost in there. And we'll just continue on. Okay, now we want to mix this up a little bit. All right, guys, the first uh, thing we're gonna put in here is something called rock phosphate, okay? The profile on rock phosphate should be zero, three, zero. The stuff I'm using, I picked up online, is zero, seven, zero, so it's a little stronger. Uh, if you have the regular rock, rock phosphate, um, that's zero, three, zero, um, use about four to five cups. Um, I'm going to use about three to four cups on here and you want to just sprinkle it in. Okay. All right, the next thing we're going to put in here is lime. Now for uh, wet areas you can use dolomite uh, lime and for uh, dry areas you want to use um, pelletized lime or, or even gypsum. About two cups. Now this is for calcium. Very important to have a decent amount of calcium in your soil. All right, the next ingredient we're going to put in there is uh, sea kelp or uh, kelp meal. Um, it's loaded with minerals and, and uh, all different kinds of nutrients, nu uh, nutrition. Um, but you want to do this sparingly, about a half a cup, and just sprinkle that in. guys the next thing we want to do is mix this up and throw it in the hole and it'll cover the first third of that hole okay 
All right, guys, now we want to mix this up really good. So here we have the soil we took out of the hole. We put in horse manure, we put in compost, we put in some peat moss. Just to enrich the soil, we put in a rock phosphate, lime. Uh, you can pick up the lime at uh, Home Depot carries. That's where I got mine anyways. And it's small granular, almost pelletized, I guess you'd call it. All right. Okay, that's mixed enough. Now what we want to do is throw it in the hole. Okay. Now you want to even things out in here. Now you just want to come on in here and step on it a little bit, kind of even it out. All right. Now our hole was three feet deep. Okay. After you put your dirt in, you should have two feet deep now. That's about what I have. Okay. Now to our next layer. The next thing we have to do is put a layer of rocks at, uh, at the uh, top of the, uh, of the dirt that you just put in there, okay? Any kind of rocks you have. I have a, a limestone driveway, so I got all kinds of limestone, okay, um, to put at the bottom of my hole. Uh, you can use whatever rocks you can find. You can use gravel. Um, there's a study done by Ian Jones. Um, I don't know the science behind it, but all I know, heard was that it has to, something to do with changing the electrical uh, current of the root system because everything works with electricity. Our bodies do, you know. Uh, trees are the same way. When the root system goes into the ground, uh, from what I've heard in, in the video, they exchange ion for ion for nutrition with the bacteria and all that. Uh, so they use electricity. This does something with the electricity in the soil. Uh, to benefit the trees. I, like I said, I don't know the science behind it, okay? It works, that's all I know. <laughs> so we're gonna put a layer of this rock in the hole. And it's, for a three foot, three foot hole, uh, a five gallon bucket filled to the top was pretty good. At least a rock's this size anyways, okay? Now you want to spread the rocks around evenly. Okay, now to our next level. All right guys, I forgot to 
put in the soil that I put in there is seawater. Um, you can make your own seawater. If you don't live by an ocean, uh, you can make your ocean water. Uh, you just uh, buy some sea salt. Uh, and you use a half a cup of sea salt per gallon of water. You only need a quart to go in there. Um, I bought this product called C90. It's got over 90 minerals in this water, or in the salt, I'm sorry. Um, you mix uh, about a half a cup per gallon of water. Mix it really good. And then put in a quart of the uh, ocean water into the soil that was here. Mix it all up and then put it in the hole. I forgot to do that, but luckily I just remembered. So we're just gonna put about a quarter of that in here. And that's about a quart. All right, that will add the uh, a lot of minerals uh, and trace uh, uh, minerals into that soil. All right, guys, the next thing we have to do is our second third. Uh, so a foot was with the soil that we amended with the minerals and the lime and all that stuff and the manure the second uh, portion the second foot we have to uh, just put the topsoil but my topsoil i don't have any <laughs> okay it's just red dirt uh, clay so what i'm going to do is make my own topsoil i'm going to uh, amend or i'm going to add uh, about 50 percent of this about a bag of topsoil and maybe some manure mixed in there just a little bit uh, but none, none of the minerals the lime the uh, um, phosphate none of that stuff we're going to put in there uh, the, the second uh, foot here second third we're just going to put topsoil okay so like i said i'm just going to use this mixed with some um, topsoil that I bought, a little bit of manure, uh, mix it in there. That's just for more organic matter, okay, in the, in the soil. Because this here is very dry, crumbly clay right now, but if this was wet, it'd be a whole different ball game here. Now they call this topsoil, but if you really look at it, it's soil with uh, compost in it basically. And like I said, I'm going to add just a little bit of manure in there. And then uh, the rest, the soil I took out of the hole. Now again, if you got nice black rich soil, your property, um, that would be good enough. Just put that into the hole. Out of work <laughs> but it'll pay off you know when you work hard at something really put a lot of effort time and thought into something especially something like this has been tried and true for over a hundred some years uh, it's nice knowing that that uh, in a year or two you'll be enjoying the fruits of your labor.
Okay, that's our topsoil right there. We're gonna put that in on the second level now. We did a foot of the amended soil with the calcium and the phosphate and everything, the seawater and the uh, kelp. Put our layer of rock in. Now for the next foot, we're gonna put this topsoil in, okay? Nothing else. Spread this out evenly. <sighs> now we should have one foot left to go. And that's what we have. Perfect. I've done enough, to, enough of these to know about how much dirt is necessary for each layer. So, that's good to go. Our next layer is gonna be just like the first, but we're gonna add an extra ingredient, okay? So let's get this mixed up. So we're putting in the soil we took out of the hole, some manure, and put some topsoil in, or I'm sorry, compost. Again, if you don't have all these ingredients, just at least make sure it has some type of manure, or just compost is good too, okay? What you're trying to do is enrich the soil with organic matter, okay? So the best sources are, of course, manures and compost. If you have leaf mold again, put that in there. I unfortunately don't have any. It's not absolutely necessary, but it does help. might do it. Okay. Now we're going to put in our phosphate lime. Okay. Again, I'm putting in rock phosphate. Usually the profile on that is 030. Mine is 070, so it's over twice as strong. Um, usually you'll get the, if you get the 030, put in four to five cups. I'm gonna put three to four, okay? Because mine's stronger, it's 070. All right, next is our lime. 
and we're gonna put about two cups of lime in there. That's for the calcium. Now we got kelp meal. You only wanna put about a half a cup of that. And from what I understand, if you put too much, you could actually stunt the growth of the uh, tree. And you don't want that, okay? The next ingredient we're going to put in here is cottonseed meal. Uh, that's basically for the nitrogen, okay? It's a good organic nitrogen. Uh, so we're going to put two to three cups of that cottonseed meal. Now you can pick up cottonseed meal at most of your feed stores will have it. In a big old bag. Here, here's the bag right here. big old bag like this is like 15 16 bucks right in that range all right the next thing we're gonna do is put our seawater in there all right we're just gonna sprinkle about well first quart second quart so it'll be to the halfway point about a quart that's good All right, now we gotta mix this up. All right, guys. Now that you have it good mixed, we're gonna throw that in on the last third and fill that hole up, okay? I should also mention before putting this layer in option you could put some gopher wire get some half inch hardware cloth uh, galvanized so it doesn't rust Make a circle, like a bucket with it, circle, and put it in there, and uh, and then and then do this <clears throat> um, if you got problems with gophers. And what you would do is plant your tree right inside that. Uh, uh, Hardware cloth that uh, go for uh, wire. All right, that should do it. All right, now once you filled your hole, right smack in the middle where you want your tree, take some of that dirt out and put it to the side. That's where your tree is gonna go. All right. Now, uh, you have an option here. If it's during the winter or early, early spring, and the trees are dormant and you buy them uh, root bare without in a pot, just bare root, uh, you can, you have an option, well I guess even with a pot, to get a, a large stone, okay, and put it down at the bottom of that hole you just dug out where the tree's gonna go, and that acts as an anchor. The roots will go over that stone and act as an anchor. I don't know the benefits of it, but I know that it helps and it works. Um, now, if your tree you're planting has a tap root, then don't worry about that stone, okay? Uh, I really don't have a stone, I really can't find any, and if you were to find some at some of these big box stores, it'll cost you an arm and a leg. So I'm not gonna pay that much for a rock, okay? Um, <clears throat> so you have that option, okay? Uh, it's not necessary though. So dig out a hole for your tree. Next, we're gonna pull our tree out. Loosen up the outside of that uh, soil where it was kind of root bound, I guess. 
and uh, free that up a little bit and we'll stick it in there, all right? Now this is a pretty good sized pot here. Okay, this is coming off and I don't want to take all the dirt out of there. And it looks like that's what's happening. Anyways, get as much as you can. It's like, uh, okay, that's good. We'll put some of this soil, soil in there too. Now, all these trees that you buy at the nurseries, they're grafted, okay? They got the original uh, stock, the original stock or the trunk coming up here, and then they graft the, the tree they want to adhere. So make sure that part is sticking up, at least a cut an inch or two above the soil, okay? All right. Now that we got our tree planted, next thing we're gonna do is get some mulch and put some mulch around here, all right? Now this mulch here is partially composted already, so it's even better. All right guys, now that we have our tree planted, you wanna make sure you water it really good, all right? Now, when you're watering, of course, don't just concentrate in the middle where the, where the, where the tree comes out, but all around the edges. Remember, you got a three foot hole there, okay? You want that water to soak all the way evenly down. All right, that should do it. Um, the nice thing about the mulch is it keeps the moisture from escaping, okay? Um, uh, even if your uh, tree looks dry, like the, the, the mulch around there, put your finger down in there and see if it's moist. And most likely it will be. But uh, before you water, check it, you know? Make sure you don't want to overwater it, obviously. Um, so that's the nice thing about the mulch. It keeps the moisture in there. Now the first year of you planting a tree like this, of any type of tree and any method you do it, the first year it's very critical, they're very susceptible to disease. And because the root system hasn't been established yet, okay? This one barely had a root system. I had it, you know, in the ball of my hand like this and um, put it in there. So it's, it's very critical that first year um, to make sure you water it good, not overwater it. Um, this soil is already fertilized. Uh, if you want to put a little bit of tree fertilizer in there, like a 355 organic uh, um, fruit tree fertilizer, that'll be perfect. Perfect. Um, um, just follow the instructions on the, on the package. Um, but until the root system gets established, that's usually the first year, they're very susceptible to disease. So if in the event this tree does die, you don't have to redig the hole and do this whole process over again. No, you just get, get it, pull it out by hand most likely because the roots aren't established yet. And then open the hole up a little more, put your new tree in there, cover it up, and um, hope for the best again. <laughs> but once those roots, that's very important, once the roots get established, they start growing and they get into that soil where it's all, where you got the rock phosphate, the calcium, and all the stuff you put in there, once they get a taste of that and all the nutrition, um, boy, these, you know, it'll take off. Another very important thing to do, is, I don't have any right now, but I'm gonna get some, is some earthworms. If you can dig around, if you got a, a compost pile or something, find maybe a dozen or so worms, throw them in there. They'll go in there and they'll love all that organic matter you put in there. 
and, and they'll start multiplying and their worm castings will feed this um, uh, the worm castings are, is, is just amazing uh, manure for the uh, uh, vegetables and fruit trees okay so if you can get a handful of worms throw it in there and they'll do what they normally will do okay they'll aerate the soil put holes in it um, um, leave their droppings of course their manure and that's what will feed your tree also so uh, make sure you get some worms I'm gonna go pick some up um, and do that to all my trees actually so I have another 20, eh, 20 trees or so to plant this way. And, uh, and that's another reason why I got this back hole. <laughs> because I'm not breaking my back <laughs> with 20 trees. All right, guys. So uh, if you have any questions, put them in the uh, uh, comments below. And I will put uh, whatever I can in the... Uh, um, all the you know all the uh, amendments I put in the uh, soil um, I'll put where I got them in the uh, video below the video in the, in the description and uh, let me know what you think one more thing guys uh, YouTube is uh, something it's kind of funny sometimes if you are a subscriber to my channel make sure you are subscribed look at the subscribe thing and it should say subscribed um, on there if you want to be notified uh, you got to hit the little bell okay that's next to the subscribe button. Um, that's if you're subscribed. Uh, that way I'll notify you uh, that I put out a, a new video. All right? So, uh, and then I've, I've heard from other guys, other channels, that uh, people that were subscribed to their channel got unsubscribed somehow. So, just double check. Um, I hate to see you miss another uh, video of mine, all right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.